Hi! So I have a new dolly to open up today. She is a Mademoiselle Rosebud. I'll show her. So I've wanted a pink haired Blythe for quite a while. I'd actually really like to get Spring Hope, but I've missed her both times she's been on CC Toys. So still fingers crossed I'll be able to get her when she's officially released through Juni Moon. Um, but. But for now, I'm going to satisfy the pink hair craving with a different girl. So I've had a look at all the pink haired brides and I decided to go for Mademoiselle Rosebud. And for a few reasons. Firstly, she has pink hair, but it isn't so close or hopefully not so close to what Spring Hope's hair is going to be. And I don't like my dolls to be too similar. And secondly, because I don't have any SBLs yet, it's nice to kind of diversify my collection a little bit. Here she is. So I got her on Mandarake for 16,000 Japanese yen, which is about 104 pounds. So I don't think that's bad at all for a Blythe, considering how much they cost nowadays. Um, unfortunately, I did get burned with a 50 pound import charge, so that was fun. So she was released in 2004, which means that this poor girl has been sitting in her box for more than 15 years. <laughs> Um, so I think she's like long overdue being released. Um, she's kind of not really been on my radar much over the years until I like really zoned in on wanting a pink haired girl. Um, largely because I, I'm not a big fan of her stock. Um, you'll see when I get her out but she has the silliest hat you've ever seen. So first up, let's have a look at the box. I do quite like the box actually. The colours are pretty. And I like the little cut out flowers on the side. It's, it's strange, but like, I like this kind of design. I like the kind of pastel retro take um, much more than I like her kind of old lady outfit. Doesn't really, it's cute, but it doesn't match her style. So she's new in box with all of her stock. Closer look. Nope. Oh. Okay, so first thing, this has fallen out. Okay, this is like her little um, scarf shawl thing it actually feels quite nice it doesn't feel like bad quality and it looks like the little beads are quite um well sewn on it's quite intricately made um i think it's just the design of it just isn't my cup of tea let's release you Release the foot shackles. She's free. So, first impressions, um, I really love this hair colour, it's like quite an orangey peach, not quite a pinky peach, which is fine, I have nothing like this in my collection so far. Um, she's quite nice actually, I think she's a lot prettier than I thought she was going to be, she's like, a lot of the SBLs are quite underrated. Um, but for me, it wasn't until Takara started making SBLs and later RBLs that they got a little bit more creative with hair colours and styles. Her hair is quite greasy. It's going to need a spar or two. She has details, which I love. Like, she has... If you can see, teeny tiny... Can you see? Teeny tiny pink nails. 
and earrings. They're just plain gold studs, but they're quite nice. I might take them out and put different ones in. Her dress is, um, I'm just really sorry she's had to wear it for 15 years. She deserves better. And I change time, the fun bit. Blue, orange, green, pink. So no special eye chips in this one. I think she was just a regular release girl. You're gonna be cute when I'm done with you though. Should we look at the rest of the stock? So like the scarf, I actually think the dress is quite well made. It's got another, if I can show you, an attached underskirt layer here. So it isn't even just like a vest illusion here. She's got tiny little beads sewn all the way around. And little ribbon details here. It's actually really nice quality. I just don't like, I think I just don't like the shape of it. Um, I wonder if I could maybe rework the top into something else. Maybe. So the tights, uh, silvery gray fishnets. That's a choice. The jacket. Again, the jacket's actually quite well made. It's, oh, and look, we have a stud instead of Velcro. Oh, and look, it's even got like a complimentary liner in it. This is actually all right. Yeah, I don't know. I think you could potentially do something quite nice with this. If you maybe put it with a different shaped dress with like a, a full skirt maybe. I don't know, I'll have to play around with it a bit. Her teeny tiny gloves. Again, these are actually like uh, lovely quality. The shoes. They um they have little tiny oops, they have little tiny roses on them. I'm not a huge fan of that shape um, and they will fall off every two seconds. I don't think they would fit very well if they were over the tights and I'm not mad keen on the shape and they're not very secure. If you took your doll outside in these, you would lose them, um, which I wouldn't cry about, to be honest. Handbag. Same again, the, the detailing on this is really cute and intricate. Oh, there you go. It's really cute and intricate. There's even like a little clasp on it. So she comes with jewelry, which I didn't know. So I believe this is a necklace. Oh, don't. So I think that's a necklace with a, a little rose on it and leaves. And I think these are dangly bits to add to her earrings. Hmm. 
necklace. Every time I get the earring in, it falls out again. Okay, okay, they're in now. I've messed her hair up a bit in all the drama. It's a nice idea. Um, they are quite fiddly. Quite difficult to get in. Um, and I get the feeling they're gonna come out quite easily when they've got the little dangly bits on. I quite like these though. They're kind of quirky. And I do love silly jewellery. That's quite a cute idea. We have our clover stand. This one's black to match her accessories. And last but not least, we have <laughs> uh, the hat. Bear with me. Are you ready for the ensemble? Da 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 da. The whole look. She threw a bag. She threw it. Um. Yeah. So <laughs> this hat is so bad. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Bless her. Um, I don't know, like, maybe this was really fashionable in 2004. It isn't what I was wearing in 2004. Um, maybe I just don't know fashion. Like, I do dress like a four-year-old. Um, she is lovely though. I like her, I like having a new face mold. And I'm loving this kind of peachy, orangey hair. It's peachy. It's peachy. Um, I do like the earrings. And like the quality's there. I don't think that Takara have done Blythe stock that's this like quality in terms of how well it's made in a long time. Um, I'm always surprised when I get an older girl, like how much thought has gone into their stock and how nice it is. Um, Actually, I've just noticed that the collar on her jacket is also detachable. Sorry, hun. Oh, we're popping open. Um, we've lost an earring. <laughs> Two earrings. Like, the stock is really thoughtful. They put effort and budget into it. Um... I just don't like it. So the last thing that's in the box is the little card. Um, I don't think Modern Blythe's come with this anymore either. I've certainly not received one in a long time from a new girl. Um, so you kind of get like, you get a dolly photo on one side. I don't think that's Mademoiselle Rosebud. <laughs> She's got quite frizzy hair. She looks maybe like a Kenner. And then you get your girl's story on the back. So we've got birthday, August 26, 2004. Favorite color, lavender pink. Favorite animal, peacock. Hobby, classical piano. Bonjour, I'm going to a symphony in an elegant dress. Are you though? The classical pianist is from France and a dear friend of mine. She used to accompany my violin solos when we were in school. I can't wait to meet her after the concert to chat about old times. Friend forever. That's cute. So there we go, that's her story. Um, I think her, so her outfit is supposed to read classical concert. Um, I think it reads a little bit more grandma at church. Um, not my grandma, my grandma was styling. I do, I do love her. She has nice hair. It's nice to have a new face type. 
definitely gonna need a hair spa or six um, and a new outfit. So let's go and dress her up and I will reintroduce the new girl. So we've had a quick dress up. Um, first impressions, she looks really, really good in blue. She really suits blue. And one more thing about her stock I forgot to show you. It's a bit bright, but look how cute her knickers are. You know I love good knickers. They're like yellow with little lacy bits in. Sorry. So overall, really nice dolly. She's very pretty. Very shiny, <laughs> but very cute.